Hello, welcome to Ben Landon's ENME 351 Lab 9. For this project, I've created an alarm clock that wakes the user up at around the sunrise. To do this, we have a photocell resistor a sensor that changes its resistance based on the light that is, it is taking in. It is connected to an analog input. At a certain resistance, a certain light that changes its resistance, um, this will trigger a series of lights and a piezoelectric buzzer. Uh, will go off um, signaling the user to wake up. If the user is ready to wake up, he or she can use uh, a potentiometer to turn a servo motor to open the blinds. Or if the user is not ready, he or she can hit the snooze button and go back to sleep for a little bit longer. Now on to the Arduino IDE. As you can see, I'm in a dark room and right now it's uh, zero is printing a value of six, which is actually six lux, um, that's the data sheet um, of the photocell resistor, and I've referenced that uh, later in the lab, but let's turn on this light and let's see what happens. So as you can see, um, a series of lights go off and the piezoelectric buzzer, and we have a lux reading of around 50. Specialized four digital pins for the LED, the um, digital pin for the piezoelectric buzzer, buzzer which is 8, the snooze button which is 12, and then I have a beat time which is the time it takes for one cycle, but it also is the time between the alarms as you heard, and I've actually converted that to beats per minute, initializing the PWM period and the potentiometer as well as the period of 20,000 which we learned in lab 6 um, digital analog converters and servo motors. Um, in that data sheet as analog pin A4, and then the snooze button state, which is either zero for off or one for on. Next, we get down to the setup. We have the baud rate and then the four LED outputs and the two inputs, which is the light sensor and the snooze button. Then we go down to the loop, we the light sensor. Then we have the, to display that to the serial monitor for the processing code. Next, we have the snooze state, which will be zero or one, whether it's pressed. Then we have an if statement. So if the light level is less than 30 or the button is pressed, nothing will happen. All else, we're going to, the LEDs will turn on consecutively up until the buzzer. Um, and this is where the beat time comes into play. Next we have the servo motor, which will open the blinds when we turn this potentiometer. And we have an analog read of the potentiometer, and then we have the map function, which is from um, our lab SICK. We're converting the analog input to um, the, the more recommended value, which is 600 to 2550. Then we have the um, PWM signal creating that um, with the delay, and then we have the map for the rotary angle between negative 90 and 90 degrees. This value at around 6, um, which is close to 0. Serial library, sound library, to find the sound and serial. Then I have the window size, made the color of the background, defined the, my port and the baud rate, and then um, cleared it and added the birds chirping audio. Next we have the graph, the text size, the color, um, and then information on 100 being a very sunny day, 50 being a well-lit room, 0 is dark, 100, 75, 50, 25, 0 of illumination value. Then we have the title of the graph um, and the legend right here. Um, and then I have the um, ellipse, which is yellow. Now, this, is, this section is in lab uh, 6, and it allows to extract the time and Y positioning into array. Next, we get into the light sensor analog value while time increases. Um, make the ellipse the X uh, position um, being respected to the time. Make that circle yellow. Print it to the serial monitor. Now, if the time is greater than um, the length of the screen, uh, reset the background. And if the um, analog output is greater than zero, you're going to have good morning sunshine and um, the sun and the bird sound. Finally, here are my references.